Hello folks, welcome to another episode of Frequently Asked Questions. My name is Dr. Thomas Hughes. Today's topic is how often do you need to do TMS treatments in order for it to be effective? The short answer for standard treatments that are covered by insurance, once a day, Monday through Friday, 36 sessions total. That is the standard. Ideally, five times per week is what you wanna shoot for, but realistically speaking, due to travel and work schedules, sometimes it's just not possible. It really just depends on what city you live in. For instance, this is what Los Angeles looks like during most times of the day. The lowest amount of sessions that I recommend per week is three. The absolute, absolute lowest that I would do is two times per week. That's rare and I would always try to find a way to bump it up to three times per week as much as possible. One of the biggest barriers to starting and completing TMS treatment is the travel and work schedule. So it's not just the quality of provider that's a consideration when choosing where to go for your TMS treatment, but it's also their office hours. My patient population uh, typically works high stress jobs, long hours. Remember, I work in the Los Angeles area, so I'm near Burbank, I'm near Pasadena, Hollywood, lots of executives, lots of creatives, lots of artists, etc. So the earliest I offer appointments is 6 a.m. The latest I offer appointments is 8 p.m. This allows patients to continue working without having to take time off. If you do need to attend sessions during the day, FMLA is something myself and most other doctors are happy to fill out for you if you're engaging in treatment. If you're not familiar with FMLA, it is a law requiring employers to provide employees with job protected unpaid leave for personal and family reasons. FMLA is not disability and it's not social security. Some other things that you might wanna know about the schedule, the evening crowd tends to like the later appointments because of less traffic. Right after their appointment, they go straight to bed. The early morning crowd also has less traffic to deal with, but not everyone is a morning person, and sometimes fatigue can be a problem towards the end of the workday. Also very important to know, fatigue caused by TMS typically goes away after the first week or two. Everything that I've talked about is in regards to the standard course of treatment that is covered by insurance. If your course of treatment is not covered by insurance, that's a whole nother ball game and a whole nother video. Subscribe to this channel or follow this page for more information.